my lovely Scorpios. If you want your own personal reading or one-to-one -one spiritual life coaching, you can email me. So, the energy for you this week is uh, you could be breaking up with somebody or there could be someone that you're leaving out in the cold. Especially like if you, if you had two options that you were juggling, you could be letting one person out in the cold and that you are going to build with someone else. And if this is not you, then this is like a cross watcher. If the cross watcher had to pick between two people, they're letting someone down and they're deciding to work on things with you. Okay. Um, cause I just like, while I was meditating on your sign, I heard a lot of crying. So somebody could be crying because it's the end of a relationship. They didn't think it was going to end. And it could be if you were holding on to a person and you finally let them go, they miss you. They're crying behind the scenes. And if it's if it, you're with somebody new and you're starting over with this person and they had to let somebody go, that person is crying for them. All right. I also hear misery loves company. So be careful because if people think that you're doing good, if people feel like, oh, your love life is better than theirs and you're doing better than them, there's going to be some people this week that may project onto you because they're doing bad and it's almost like they want to bring you down. So see who does that. See who in your circle, because it's going to be in your circle. Um, It's going to be in your circle. So see, this is exactly what I mean. There's there's an emotional loss that somebody feels and it had to do with decision. Somebody needed to make a choice. Somebody had choices and you detach from someone and they feel the emotional loss of you. They really do. But it was universal. Like it was meant. The timing was meant. You could have did healing with this person. This person could have been put in your life so that you can heal your heart, so that you can learn how to choose yourself and learn how to walk away. You could have struggled, Scorpio, to hold on to people who you had to fight to get their love. You had to fight to get their 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 appreciation. You had to fight. I feel like you had to put up such a strong fight with this person that spirit brought somebody new and you needed to be strong enough to finally detach from the person that they weren't even really helping you. They were hurting you more than they were helping you. Let me see more about this person. Some of you two can still be mourning the loss of a deceased loved one as well. Let's see, emotional loss. Yeah. Yep, this is definitely third party. Somebody could have had you in a third party and you had to cut them out. This is you, the queen of swords, you know, they could have had you in a third party. You could have had a soul connection with this person. This shows third party. You felt left out in the cold because they were entertaining someone else. So they had you in a third party first. You had no choice but to see what else was out there. So this is you. It's like you were with this person. You did love this person, but you had to keep it real with them. You know, um, you had to pull your heart out of a hard place. And I don't even think you wanted to. I feel like what made you do it was the fact that they were not putting into you the way that you were putting into them. Whoever this person is, they were by curiously living through your life. So they were trying to hold on to you because you could have had a better lifestyle than than them. You could have been very, very helpful. There's something that they admired to you, but then they had they had someone else that they were holding on to. So they could have been holding on to someone from their past and, and trying to hold on to you and build something. It just seemed like they couldn't juggle two people. You left this person out in the cold because they were making you feel like you weren't worthy of them making more effort. You wanted them to put more effort and you wanted them to put up a fight. And I hear like you keep bringing up your ex. You keep bringing up your ex. You could have been with this person. They brought up their ex a lot. It's like, if you're with me, why are you bringing up your ex? They brought up this person because there was a, they were struggling to let them go. All right. Ooh, ooh. So you, you. Let me see what's going on. You have a healing connection that's coming in. It says someone wants another chance to make things right. They have the desire to do things better. Someone's awakening to their heart. And because they're awakening to their heart, you guys are now like an energetic match. Let me see who this person is. All right. 
because it shows like you you had a completion you had a completion some of you with a water sign it could have been a cancer pisces scorpio um let me see what this sign was cancer pisces scorpio or you could have been with a taurus taurus came out twice you could have been with an earth sign or a cancer pisces scorpio you had completed a cycle with them and you could have been in a in a in a place where you were recharging, like trying to heal, cry, release them from your energy. While you were doing that, you meet someone or there's somebody from your past. You have a true love connection. If somebody did hurt you, if there was a third party, you need to know that they feel so guilty. They feel so guilty. Like the person has deep guilt, shame and remorse over their past actions. Somebody feels so guilty. They want to know how you feel as well. Like, how do, how do you feel? Because you you could be um, giving them the silent treatment or you could just be going no contact. You know, sometimes people go no contact to protect their own peace. People go no contact because they want to spend time to heal and focus on themselves. You went no contact because you felt like that was the best and only choice and option that you had for yourself. All right. Yeah, damn. See, this shows three of swords. This shows missed opportunity. There was lots of heartbreak. You didn't feel happy about it. You could have been sitting in this three of swords for a while. You just felt really, really burdened and stressed. Because deep down inside, you really love them. You really love them. And deep down inside, you wanted to build a, a long lasting relationship with this person. You really wanted that. That was your desire with this person. Let me see how they feel right now. What are, what are they thinking or feeling right now? King of Wands. They have. <laughs> so they emotionally detached from you as well. They emotionally detach from you, but they're still, they still want to fight for this. They, they also feel defensive, like they're trying to defend themselves, but at the same time, they want to fight for this connection, but they want to defend themselves. So they're in two different energies. That means they're in resistance. You see, these two are coming up against each other. They want to fight for you, but at the same time, they're very defensive, especially if you went off on them. It could have been things that you said that they feel upset about. But you could have you could have been honest. You were you were keeping it real with them. They also are defensive because they think you have other options. They think you have them waiting because you you have other options and you possibly even are dealing with somebody who has money. They think you have somebody on the side who has money. Um so their imagination is taking them on a roller coaster ride. They think you are dealing with other people. And this is why they're defensive. You do have a brand new beginning in love. You have two options, Scorpio, and I'm I'm going to I'm going to go through both of them with you. You you have a brand new beginning. So the wheel of fortune is up, which is good. This is positive energy if it's up. All right. You could possibly have a cancer, but you have two. Let me see who the other option is. And one of them is white flag. So this is good. When it shows two of wands, you have to decide who do you want to deal with. You're going to have to decide. One of them is a really is a, is a good true love match. The other one broke your heart. I hear tremendous heartbreak. Like you felt very, very devastated. You felt like they neglected you. You felt like they put other people before you. You felt like they were very ungrateful to you. Ooh, ooh. This could have even had your life in stagnancy, like your money could have been getting stagnant because you were so hurt and you were trying your best to focus on your finances. But that's all you could think about is the heartbreak and how much it hurt and how much it it could have it could have threw you off for a little bit. Who's this person? Yep, yeah, look, they're new. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Somebody who could possibly be younger than you. You have a new love offer coming in. Yeah, somebody with a huge heart. 
somebody with a huge heart yeah it could also be a leo somebody who's going to communicate to you the biggest signs i see for you is cancer you don't even see this love offer coming you don't so you had you had they both seem like they could be from your past one is newer than the other one you this person you could have been dealing with for a while this person could be more new in your energy you thought that things were done completely and you were just trying to overcome heartbreak this person is coming to charge forward to you that's what you don't see what you don't see is that this person is coming back towards you very fast whoever you released you released this person in the past they're coming back they never they never stopped loving you they never ever stopped loving you Yeah, so they want to bring balance to you. They want to bring love to you. You have two people. What other signs can they be? They could be a Libra. They could be an Aquarius. This is air. A lot of air. They could be. They could be a Gemini. They could be an air sign or a Leo. Or once again a Cancer. Okay, or a Sagittarius. Spirit says you are more than enough. And casual sex is not going to be is not going to be enough for you anymore. You know, some of you like <laughs> you are so tired of this. You are. You're just like tired of this. Um, so people are going to be fighting for your heart. So for you, people see you as confident, intelligent, graceful. You're going to have a lot of people. You're going to be in your power when these two people come back. You have people that are going to be competing um, for your heart. Two people that are going to be texting you. All right. And it could be a Virgo as well. Somebody that you were distant from. You could have been distant, like killing yourself and trying to stay away from like the drama. Let me see what else. I see you playing music. You could have been playing heartbreak music or music to try to empower yourself. Trying to pump yourself up. Trying to make sure that you stay in high spirits or get your power back. You didn't want these people to feel like they could defeat you or take you for granted or make you feel low about yourself. Yeah. So you have a brand new beginning after, after a, a devastating ending. And you are, you're going to be juggling, speaking to two people at the same damn time, at the same damn time. <laughs> let me stop. Let me stop. But yeah, both, both are going to be healing. They're going to want to heal this with you both. So you have lots of communication coming in from two people. And this person that feels the emotional loss, they're even mourning you. Spirit says they're mourning you. They're mourning the loss of you more than you think. Yeah, they're thinking about the memories of love that they had with you. And once again, if you did lose somebody, you could be thinking about the person that um, has went to heaven. All right. So, yeah, this person, they're starting to awaken to how much they actually loved you and they still feel passion for you. They want to make love to you so bad. You know, they feel heartbroken. If you stopped entertaining their shenanigans, they feel very, very heartbroken and they still feel it bad for you. And then you're going through a transformation. Some of you guys are going to be celebrating or you have a reunion with someone else who's on your vibration and on your frequency when it comes to love. And they will they will automatically recognize your worth. All right. You're also going to be patient and planning. Some of you want to move so bad or you just want to go on vacation. I hear I wish I can just get a ticket and just run away. <laughs> Some of you just want a break from life. You think it's just too much. You could be trying to plan for a vacation just to get away. You just want to laugh. You just want to feel love. You just want to be happy. You are so tired of the ups and downs of life or when it comes to your relationship. It's starting to weigh on you a lot. Yeah. So where it shows coffin. Once again, some of you could have really lost someone and you could be thinking about somebody that you love if you have children you're going to be spending time with your children and creating a pathway to more money and you are going to get a message 
from both from both partners you're gonna get a message and you may also get a message about somebody who's struggling with their health spirit also wants you to be careful with your health be careful of who you invite into your life because this is upside down be careful of who you invite into your life because this can be causing you stress and emotional pain emotional imbalances because you're dealing with people who don't know how to treat you spirit wants you to be careful be careful of your health and be careful of somebody calling you with bad health somebody might a mature man may, might be struggling with their health in your life okay um let me see if i have a work message and then i'm gonna do a full spread on birth both <laughs> birth <laughs> some of you want a water birth you want to have a baby you're on the right path when it comes to your job okay and you're going to be managing your finances better you're going to be focusing and planning for your future and in, in your finances so you are on the right path some of you guys work in solitude or you could be taking a break you're going to be unlocking lots of potential lots of abundance some of you could be winning money from a legal case or from taxes. You have taxes that are owed to you. You have lots of good luck that is going to be on your side when it comes to finances and attracting wealth. You have angelic help and opportunities that are going to be sent from the heavens and you're going to be working a lot. So you have money coming in from work, from a court case and some of you from taxes. They owed you taxes. And you might, I see you, you really will book a vacation, whether it's a vacation with your boo or it's with friends okay because i just seen you like oh let's schedule for zip lining so if you wanted to go on vacation you do come into money i see a vacation so i'm going on the extended i'm doing a full spread on both people all right you also may have a falling out with your with your mother like you may think like your mother is a pathological liar you may feel like you you could be struggling with your mother your mother could be going through her own things and projecting it into your life and you could be upset okay so just be careful with that. That just came out at the last minute. You and your 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 mother going through it. Or if you have a child, you can be um, back and forth with your child um, and they can be struggling with you. All right. Love and light, my loves.